Good morning, family. Welcome to our daily devotion. What a beautiful scenic uh, view. Beautiful out in nature this morning. I want to encourage you this morning uh, to believe God for provision in your life. And this time, as we're approaching 100 days um, in lockdown, we are trusting God for provision. Not just enough, but more than enough. I want to read this morning from 2 Kings 4, verse 1 to 7. There's a couple of things we can look at that will help us to bring our faith to where God can meet all of our needs. The Bible says in this passage, a certain woman, notice they did not even mention her name, of the wives of the sons of the prophets, cried out to Elijah as he came by, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. This lady did not even work for Elijah. Her husband worked for him, but she reached out in faith, trusting God for provision. And he said that, and she said to Elijah, you know that your servant fear the Lord. And now the creditors is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elijah said this to her, what can I do for you? That is always the question. God is asking us, what can I do for you? Let our request be made known to God, whatever it is. We serve a God that can do abundantly above all that we can think or ask or imagine. It is by faith that we will receive our miracles, our provision, our finances in the time that we live in. So he said to her, what can I do to you? Tell me, listen to the second question, what do you have in your house? First of all, what can I do for you? And then he's asking, what do you have in your house? Many of us have provision already in the house. Your miracle is in your home. What do you have in your house? And then she replied, your servant has nothing in the house but a little jar of oil. That's all she had. Then Elijah said, go and borrow vessels from everywhere from all your neighbors, empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. It's important that we check our mindset when we experience a difficult time, when we go through so-called drought. The Bible says, do not borrow or gather just a few. In spite of what we're going through and what we see, it is important that our mindset, uh, the capacity of our hearts be enlarged for what God can do for us. When you have come in, shut the door behind you and your sons, then pour that little jar of oil into all the other vessels and set aside the full ones. So she went from Elijah and shut the door and with her sons behind closed door, they brought the vessels to her and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her sons, bring me another vessel. And he replied, there is not another vessel. So the oil ceased. Then she came and told the man of God what happened. And he said to her, go sell the oil, pay your debt and you and your sons live on the rest. I trust God with you today for this exact of verse 7 to happen in your home, that you will have enough to pay your debt, that you and your family will be able to live off the rest. I pray that the Holy Spirit will show you what you have in your home or wherever so that we can use what we have in our home and that God can multiply that. Maybe it's an idea. Maybe it's something you don't use anymore and you want to sell it or can sell it. Or whatever you have, we trust God for miraculous provision in your home. I trust God with you that as we get to the end of this uh, lockdown period in total, that you will have more left than in the beginning. I know God can do it. Let us trust God. Let's not panic or fear or stand in unbelief. But let's hold on in faith, trusting, believing God is a miracle worker. He will provide and take care of all our financial needs. I would love to pray for you right now. Father, baie dankie dat ons elke familie voor u kan bring, financiële voorsiening voor elke huis. 
En net soos in die gedeelte, Heere, bid ons vir een wonderwerk, terwijl ons werk met dit wat in ons handen is. Ik bid voor elke familie wat hoor, dat u wonderwerk zal stuur vir financiële voorziening en deurbraak, zodat so aan die einde van alles, Vader, ons meer als genoeg zal leven, zodat so ons allemaal kan betalen wat betaald moet worden, en verder nog kan leven en een oorvloed te kan leven. Ons spreek zien en voorziening voor elke familie in die naam van Jezus Christus. Kom hier en doen wonderwerken in die area van financiën in, in, in die area van financiën in die levens van die kinders. In ons vraag het in die naam van Jezus. Ons geloof het en ons ontvang het in Jezus naam. Amen. So zal het voor jou wees. Die Heere sien, geniet die rest van die dag en het was goed om elkaar weer te kan zien.